Hello, in the previous tutorial I showed you how to use a while loop to repeat code or lines of a code or instructions while a condition was true and while a condition evaluated to true. Um, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you a different type of loop called a for loop which is basically a counted loop. So it repeats a section of code or repeats instructions a certain number of times um, that you specify. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I've got a basic program here that I, um, I've started with, with a new project. I'm going to delete the line here, console.write line, hello world, in this um, main method here. And I'm going to start by saying for, and then in brackets, inside these regular brackets, there's three separate things that I need to specify. The first thing is I need to create a counter. So a variable that will be used as a counter. The next thing that I need to do is create a condition. Okay, so um, for example, while the counter is less than 10. And then the third thing I need to do is specify how much that counter increases or maybe de decreases by each time the loop um, repeats. Okay, so to create a, a variable for a counter, I need to firstly give it a data type, which is integer. So I'll say for int, and then I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to call the variable i, this is the letter i. Okay, so the variable is i, which will stand for index. And I'm going to set it to zero to begin with. So i equals zero. And then add a semicolon. So that's the first part. The second part is the condition. So I'm going to make it that i has to be less than 10. And then add a semicolon. And the last bit is how much i is going to increase by each time this loop runs. So I'll just get it to increase by one. So i plus plus, which is the same as saying i equals i plus one. All right, so we're starting by giving an initial value for the counter called i, giving an initial value of zero. All right, then we're going to check if i is less than 10. And if it is, we'll run the code inside the loop. Um, and then once that code has run, we'll increase i by one and then check if it's less than 10 again and just keep repeating the code while i is less than 10. Okay, so that's that's um, the first part of the for loop set up. Now we need to add some curly brackets. So open and close curly brackets. And this is where the code is going to go, which will run inside this for loop every time it repeats. So all I'm gonna do is simply just display the value of i. Like that, so console dot right line, and then i. Okay, I'll save that, and I'll run it. And there we go. So what happens is i is initially zero, so it has an initial value of zero. So it displays zero. Then it increases by one. All right. Then the loop checks if i is still less than ten, which it is. So it displays the value of i, which is one, and then it increases it by one, so it becomes two. It checks if the value of i, which is 2, is less than 10, which it still is. So it displays the value of i, which is 2, and then keeps running the loop basically until i becomes 9. All right, so i becomes 9. Then it um, increases by 1. So it writes, so we have console.write line i, so 9 is displayed on the screen. Then at the end of that iteration of the loop, i is increased by 1 to become 10. And then the loop checks if i is less than 10. And because it's i is now equal to 10 and not less than 10, the condition now evaluates to false. And so the loop doesn't run again. It doesn't repeat that section of code. All right, so that's a basic for loop. Um, it's just a counted loop that repeats sections of code a certain number of times. Now, what we've done here is specified um, a range so we specified that i is initially zero and i has to be less than 10 for this loop to run. But there are other very useful ways that we can use for loops. So maybe we have um, a list of items and we want to process that list of items. So maybe we have a list of people's names and we want to convert all of their names from lowercase to uppercase letters, as an example. We could count the number of names in that list, and then um, basically repeat the code. So um, 
convert a name from lowercase to uppercase and just repeat that for every time there is a, a name in that list. So for every name in that list, all right, or all the number, for the number of names in that list, go through each one and convert them to uppercase. As an example, so when we start looking at something called arrays later on, for loops will be very useful for that. If we wanted to go through and count through every letter in a word and check each letter in a word, we could also use a for loop to go through each item. Okay, so there are many other uses for for loops that we'll look at later on in this tutorial series, but this is a basic example of using a for loop to count, all right, to repeat code a set number of times. Thanks for watching.